Once you finish coloring in the background of your Henry Matisse picture, then it's time to create the fishbowl. So to create the fishbowl, I'm going to need a new sheet of paper. And I only want to use half of the paper because otherwise my fishbowl will be too big. So I'm going to take my paper and fold it in half like a card, like this. And I'm just going to flatten it out. You don't have to be perfect with this because we're only using half of the paper here. I'm going to show how to make a round fishbowl on this sheet of paper. The very first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a large flat oval near the top. So, and it's going to almost touch both sides of my paper. I apologize, it keeps, um, keeps focusing here. So here is my oval that almost touches both sides like this. See how it's sort of long and flat? That's what we're looking for. And then to make this fishbowl look like it's open, I'm going to draw another line and this line is going to curve just like this bottom line right here. So I'm going to come here and I'm not going to touch the side. I'm going to leave a little bit of space and I'm going to draw a line that curves just like that bottom line and then comes right up to here and stops. So now it kind of looks like the top of my fishbowl is open. If you can't visualize that yet, don't worry, we'll be able to soon. The next step to creating this sort of round fishbowl is going near the end, just drawing this little diagonal line that sticks out here and a little diagonal line on this side that sticks out. So right now it almost looks a little bit like a trampoline, like someone could bounce right on there. And once you have those two lines, we're going to connect the two with a large circle. So from this side, I'm going to draw this large circle shape that comes right around and touches here. Once I have that, you can see the fishbowl shape, but it doesn't exactly look like it's um, clear. So what we need to do is draw where the top of the water would be. So I'm going to draw another oval that touches both sides near the top. So from this side, I'm gonna draw another long skinny oval to this side, back around to this side, and then touching over here. So it looks like we have the top of our water there. I sometimes even like to put some lines there so it looks like it's sort of a see-through glass bowl. And then of course, after you do that, you can add your details to the bowl. You can put whatever kind of fish you'd like in there I like angelfish, so I'm going to draw a long, tall line right down the center. And I'm going to create a triangle that kind of looks like it's on its side. So it's going to come out this way and then over this way. So there's a big triangle. And right in the middle of this triangle, I'm going to put a dot. And I'm going to have a smaller triangle that looks exactly like this coming out of that dot. So I'm going to go across that line cross that line and then connect it. So now it looks like there's a big triangle with a smaller triangle inside. Once you have that shape, you can erase the lines that overlap. So I have this here, I'm going to erase this. I could even make the top of the fish sort of curve a little bit more, make it longer in the bottom because that's sort of how angelfish are. You could add your eye, you could add your details. A lot of times angelfish have stripes. And then again, you can add whatever other details you'd like. You can put some pebbles on the ground, whatever it is you would like to do. So I'm going to finish up my details and when I'm done, I'm going to do one other step and that is to trace over everything with a black marker because that really helps everything to sort of pop out. So you can go ahead and add whatever other details you would like to to your picture also.